Dirk came to me about a year and a half ago and had really had a burden on his heart, not just for the orphanage, but for all the people of Lyra because the economy is so bad that what he saw was a lot of fathers who couldn't provide for their families, he saw a lot of hungry people, and he saw farmers who honestly weren't getting a fair price for their crops because they didn't have a place to take them. And in talking with community leaders, he learned that one of the opportunities to enhance the, the food supply for, for Lyra and also to create some cash flow for the orphanage was through the creation of a rice mill where farmers could bring their rice to be processed and also then uh, take the rice out into the marketplace to sell it and, and give people a good quality uh, food product as well so he would uh, be able to reach a lot of needs that existed in Lyra. Well, I can think of a lot of excuses to not do business in Uganda. There were a lot of hurdles that immediately came to mind, uh, not the least of which um, I didn't know anybody there, I didn't know anything about rice milling, and I had no way of knowing if it was a viable project or not. There were a lot of hesitations that my wife had when I first told her about it. There was a lot of risk in, in doing business in, in Uganda. There is certainly a risk of not being able to find somebody that you can trust. And you know, there, there certainly are the additional family risks um, related to traveling there, to uh, being engaged in the community, and not knowing if I could even make a difference or not. It is an LLC in Uganda. It was formed by John Coker, Glenn Crispins, and myself, and our, our objective is, is to create some jobs, to create uh, an enhancement to the food supply in Uganda, and to also create a cash flow for Project Hope Worldwide uh, various projects. We are hopefully going to operate with a management team from Uganda. We hope that we can find somebody that God puts in our path that is capable of working with us as Americans and uh, making a rice mill that's operative and profitable and that can sustain itself going into the future.